Hey, Teddy K here for the Best Buy Blog, and in this video review, we take a look at the TP-Link Archer AXE75 Wi-Fi 6E router. There's a lot in that title, but the focus here is pretty simple. The Archer AXE75 is part of TP-Link's line of Wi-Fi 6 routers. In this case, it's Wi-Fi 6E. So we are going a little bit extra here as far as connectivity goes, right? I look at this router from a couple of different angles, and one of which, and the main one to me, is as an upgrade to existing hardware that you might be using. So you have an internet service provider, now they give you hardware, they say, hey, we have a modem and a router that works as a two-in-one system. Now that may seem efficient to you, but it's actually not. As modems, they're fine, but as routers, they're not. And the main problem that I have with them is, is has a lot to do with range, but I, I argue also that throughput is an issue too, especially when there is some congestion in the network. This router is supposed to solve those two things in a way that is, you don't know what's happening because it's happening behind the scenes. So for example, Wi-Fi networks run on channels. And if there's congestion in those channels because you're sharing the same channels with others, like for example, if you're, if you're living with in a building and you have neighbors who are nearby, you guys are kind of working on the same channels. This router is designed to recognize that and to kind of flush that out so that you're using the proper channels all the time, if that makes sense. The key is here, if, even if you don't understand the lingo, the key is here is that this is supposed to be efficiency. You're supposed to get an efficient connection when you are connected to this router. Where the Wi-Fi 6 comes in is for devices that support Wi-Fi 6. There's chances are that you're using many of the devices that you connect with already probably don't, but newer phones, laptops, tablets, and other devices have been moving towards that, and they're gonna continue to do so. Some even do Wi-Fi 6E. When you connect with those devices, you're gonna find that throughput is better, although range is lower. So the closer you are, the better and more you'll take advantage of that connection. That is part of the whole situation here. This is a tri-band router. So you got 2.4 gigahertz band, the five gigahertz band, and the six. The 2.4 and the five are combined into one band where the router kind of knows what it should allocate. So for example, if it's a smart home product that would work perfectly fine on 2.4, it'll put it there. If it's something like a streaming device that is better off with five, which they pretty much all are, it'll put that there. The six gigahertz band works on its own, and that's where devices that are compatible will connect to it. But bear in mind that six gigahertz is backwards compatible, so you may have devices that will connect to it anyway, uh, but they won't get the full breadth of the benefits of being on Wi-Fi 6, if that makes sense. This router is conventional as far as its design. Like it's it's nicely designed, it's pretty lightweight. Uh, in terms of deployment, I don't think you're gonna have too many problems with it. Six antennas, you know, it looks it looks almost freakish in that in that regard, but you get four LAN ports in the back. You don't get too many special features uh, as, as far as what the ports can do or what the router can do. It, 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 this is not a gaming router, for example. It's not it doesn't have specialization that way. The idea basically is to improve the range and throughput of the connection you're already paying for, which is a key thing. Whatever connection you're paying your ISP for, well, that's what you should be getting. So you're, you're not getting this router thinking that all of a sudden you're gonna double your speed. You may double your speed based on range. So if you weren't getting a very good connection further away from the router, you probably will if you deploy this thing. And that's, to me, the main point behind this. It's the Wi-Fi 6 is very good. It's it's nice, it's a nice thing to have, especially as a future-proofing thing. But when it to me, the primary reason uh, to get this is as an improvement to your existing hardware. And so in my case, I tested it at a friend's place for that very same reason, because that was one of the issues. Uh, she lives in a smaller space, so she lives in a condo, and the connection seemed to be okay, but at times, there were issues with congestion. And so I thought, well, how about we just test this out there and see what happens? Now, long story short, we did see initially not an improvement, but then we did see an improvement later on, and that then spurred her to improve her ISP's connection by going with a different provider who was offering a much faster speed at a lower price even. And it worked out great, and the router was perfect. She has a gigabit internet connection, 
uh, and it works great with this router. Great speed all over, you know, all over the home. It's fantastic. I will say though, if you are living in a larger home, multi-story, larger distances, maybe more obstacles, I think a mesh network is probably better in that case. Uh, TP-Link, of course, has their Deco units for that. Yes, these, the Archer AX, AXC75 does support TP-Link's one mesh range extenders, and you could use those and they're fine, but it's not the same as a full-on mesh network. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about really spreading out the connection in a larger space. I feel like this router, it, it can cover fairly large spaces, but I feel like it's better for smaller ones. Setting up and managing the router is not that difficult. It, even if you don't really have networking know-how, you'll be able to set this up on your own. Don't be afraid. The app, the, the TP-Link's Tether app, will take you step-by-step -step through the process and you'll be up and running in less than 10 minutes. So that part's fine. Now, as far as managing and administering things, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed if you don't know your stuff. Uh, but that's not, don't worry about that. Those are always things you can look up. And for the most part, some of the key features are really pretty easy to understand. So quality of service, QoS, you can prioritize devices based on whatever it is you feel you want to, to get the most bandwidth or is the most important. You have a gaming console and you want it to, of course, have priority, you can set that up. You wanna do a speed test, something's not right, you feel like the interconnect connections go really slow, do a speed test through the router and see if everything seems okay. Uh, you can see what devices are connected. You can set up a guest network. A lot of those things are pretty easy to do. I don't think you need a whole lot of networking know-how to, to know how to do those things. So I think those are things are fine. Now, if you're looking for more advanced features, there are some in there. Probably not as advanced as really good networking users would want. So that's why I feel like this sort of, this, this router is not really for that crowd. I think it's more for the everyday internet crowd. And for those reasons, it worked. I mentioned that it's not a gaming router. It's not a specialized router, but in my testing, gaming was fine. Streaming online, streaming live TV was fine. A lot of the things that you would probably do or regularly do online would feel pretty smooth. I think when using this router, of course, relative to what you're paying for, what kind of internet connection you're paying for. If you're living in an area where you're not getting a very high speed, you know, you have to measure your expectations naturally. But the point is, is that the range is better, even though at 60 gigahertz, it's, it's, it's lower, but it always is anyway. It doesn't matter. It's not specific to this router, but the 2.4 and the five gigahertz band, those have better range than pretty much any hardware that your ISP is giving you. And that's really the point here. And that's my review of the TP-Link Archer AXC75 Wi-Fi 6E router for the Best Buy blog. I'm Teddy K. Thanks for watching.